it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are diving back into my media journal. So if you haven't watched any of these videos before, I will link the playlist below if you're interested. But this is just a little album that I started, um, I think, think summer of 2021 actually. So I've been doing this album for like quite a while. Um, but I just grabbed a Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters mini album. And then I'm using these in a creative bubble printable. So I will also link these printables below if you want to grab them for yourself. And I'm basically just filling up this album with different uh, movie reviews, TV reviews, books, albums, podcasts, things like that. Um, and I'm just like reviewing those on these cards by printing off a photo offline and then just adding in a lot of words and a star rating. So I think it's really fun. It's totally just for funsies, just something that I wanted to keep up with. I mean, it it really doesn't have a point because of course I've watched many other things. I've read many other things, all of that throughout the year. These were just kind of like standout things that I wanted to talk about. So a lot of them are favorites, but there are a few that I I didn't really like that much that I included in here as well. It kind of de just depended on whenever I was working on the album, basically. But it's really fun. Um, I'm using a lot of my stamps. Now, these stamp sets are all quite old. So they range from Citrus Twist stamp sets back whenever they used to give them out with their monthly kits. Also, some from Paper Person whenever I did their monthly kits. Like, I know that this one's from Paper Person here that is actually specific to, like, TV and movie documenting. Um, but a lot of the other ones are totally random. So I'm sorry if I don't actually know where a lot of those stamp sets are from. But I don't think very many of them are available anymore just because they are quite old. But yeah, so for this first one that we're going to be documenting today was this really cute movie called Do Revenge. It's on Netflix. I definitely recommend this movie if you're into like 90s nostalgia, like clueless movies like that. This is so cute. It's a really fun movie. Um, it has like kind of, um, it, it's a little darker than something like Clueless, but it has like the fashion and stuff of a movie like that. And it is just so fun. Um, I really, really loved it. The cast is awesome as well. So it's a, it's great. I think Maya Hawk, um, she's in it from Stranger Things and also Sarah Michelle Gellar is in it in a small role, but it was just really great. So I super loved this. It was like one of my favorite movies that I'd watched in a long time. And now I am kind of backtracking on a lot of these shows. So a lot of these are going to be kind of like old at this point, um, because I watched this back in September, but that's, it's been a long time since I've worked in this journal. So I actually kept in the notes on my phone, a little list of, um, different things that I watched or were listening to whatever that I knew that I wanted to put into this book. So I kind of was keeping a running list. And whenever I got up to six things, I knew that's all I needed to finish this album. So then I wanted to pop back over here to finish it out with you guys. So Actually, these are the final six that will be put in here. So I'm really excited to have it completed. So the next one that we're documenting is The Watcher. This I think I watched back in like maybe October-ish, sometime like that. And I also really loved this one. It was on Netflix and it was kind of a thriller kind of TV show. I thought it was really fun. It had Jennifer Coolidge in it and a lot of other great actors. And it was just a really fun one. It's scary, but not too scary. And I'm kind of a scaredy cat. So it was, it was good. It was really fun. Um, and it kept me, um, you know, entertained and wanting to know what was going to happen next throughout it. So, um, yeah, so this one, I think I watched both of these on my own. And that's something that I like to document in my journaling as well, because you do kind of have a decent amount of space here for journaling. So I am giving somewhat of a review, but it's not like a professional <laughs> review that like would really be taken seriously. It's just kind of like my random thoughts about the the show or the movie. And I also sometimes will document if I watched it by myself or like if I watched it with Will, um, because sometimes that's fun to remember as well. And I love all of these little stamps to add different things that I think kind of go along with the show. 
I love the fact that this stamp set from Paper Person has the Netflix icon. I just think that's so cool. I wish that um, that it had all kinds of different icons. And I don't know if there's a stamp set that has those. There probably is. But I think that that would be really fun to have a stamp set that had like Netflix and Hulu and HBO, you know, all the things or something that kind of represented them um, just because there's so many streaming services and we have them all. And I think it would be kind of fun to see um, during this time because, of course, I'm sure streaming will be around for a long time, but I'm sure that we all thought that things like Blockbuster or Redbox or whatever would be around for a long time too. So I just think it's interesting to document things like that. So for this one, I did put the little Netflix icon and I'll always pick out little stamps that I think kind of go along. So this one I put Addicted and Mini Series. Um, and I just, I really loved this show as well. So this is one that I would recommend if you want something a little spooky, if you're into like thrillers. And it does have an interesting backstory because it's loosely based on a true story. Um, but definitely they, they kind of went with that and went all off the rails. But... So then for the next one, I'm switching it up and I'm actually going to use one of the currently listening cards and I'm going to be documenting Her Loss, which is the Drake and 21 Savage album that came out like maybe in November, I think. So this is also quite old. So I'm putting my star ratings down. I think that... The other ones I might have given five stars. I can't really remember. This one I gave four stars. So I actually have all three of Drake's albums within this book, all of the latest albums. So I think this one might have got the best star rating so far. So that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I like that. I, like trying to change it up and having a few things that I listen to, even though I definitely have way more of the watching cards because there's not that many albums that I'm really like anticipating and like listening to the entire thing. I'll usually just like look up a random song on Spotify. Um, but I do really love these currently listening cards because I love that they also include audiobooks, which I listen to a ton of audiobooks and also podcasts because I'm a podcast girl and I love podcasts. Um, so that's fun to document as well. So here I'm just kind of adding in the same kind of thing. It's almost like a assembly line here. I just have some labels that I will add my star rating to. And then I have my colorful stars, of course, that I pop on. I'm using the same uh, font there for my title for all of them. I'm trying to to stamp on whatever the title is of the show or the CD or whatever. Um, so I'm adding that on. And I think that that is an old one from Citrus Twist. I'm pretty sure that alpha, it's really, really old. And it looks like it's one of those like three by four or four by six sized alphas. So they're really small. Um, yeah. So then I added on this arrow just to kind of fill in some of that space underneath because I knew I wasn't going to need all that space for a review. And then of course I'm going to write in what I think here, which will include like my favorite songs on there and all of that kind of stuff. So super easy. That's one thing I love about this is that with these Heidi Swap, uh, storyline chapters, minis, the album I think is just a little over like a five by seven size. So Anything you put in here is going to be really quick. And I love having some projects like that where I can easily complete them. So even though I had to do six layouts here because I had so many to do from you know, being behind on this project, um, I was able to get them done really quickly, probably like an hour or so, and I was done with the whole thing. So this next one is The White Lotus. I'm sure a lot of people have watched this one because I know that it was just a huge show this past year. I think we watched that maybe in November as well. And um, this was season two. So we were excited, me and Will, to watch The White Lotus together because we'd already watched season one. And in our opinion, we really liked season two even more. But it's really fun. It's so hard to describe. I would say like rich people drama. It's basically just about a lot of rich people going to stay at these really super fancy White Lotus resorts and just all the things that happen. Um, a, a lot of times though, I feel like in this show, not a lot happens <laughs> throughout, um, but it has, it's so suspenseful and it makes you constantly think that like something's going on and it has like eerie music that plays and it's just a really kind of fun show to watch. So me and Will really enjoyed watching this um, a couple months ago. So I knew that I had to document this one as well.
So I ended up putting, I think the little, what is it if you win for movies? Is that an Oscar? I think maybe um, I put that at the top because this movie ended up winning, I think a lot of, a lot of awards and Jennifer Coolidge is in this as well. And I know like her um, speech was going viral online and everything. And um, it was really sweet to watch. So I wanted to add that in and then adding in a few of the little stars. I love the stamp that says the one we love to watch together. So I try to put that on the shows that I watch with Will. So I'm going to add in my little review of this one here and then we'll be done. I gave it four stars as well and then we'll pop that in um, to the book. So I really love that movie poster as well. It's very colorful and fun. So I'm going to add just a couple more stars I think over here to this little blank space just to fill in all of the spots there and then we'll add it in and then we have two other ones to document. So have you guys watched or listened to to any of these things that I'm documenting today. Uh, what was some of your favorite things that you watched maybe like in the last two or three months? I would love to know. These are definitely mine. Um, and I did watch, I just finished up the latest season of The Circle. I think it was season five and I didn't document that, but I, I love The Circle. I mean, by the end, y'all, I was bawling. Let me know if anyone else is a Circle fan because I love reality TV and I just really, really love that show. And I swear every single season, I'm like in tears by the end. It's just so sweet. The relationships and the bonds that these people kind of um, have by the end and just how thankful people are to win. And it's just a really sweet show. So Anyway, it's really fun. But on to what I'm documenting. So this one is The Glass Onion, which was a Knives Out movie. It was like the second one in the the Knives Out movie, if, if y'all happen to see that, um, that movie. But you don't have to watch the first one to watch the second one. Um, and I, I really liked the first Knives Out. I mean, I liked it. I wouldn't say really liked it. I liked it. I thought it was fine. But it wasn't like my favorite movie. And I really, really wanted to just love it because um, it is like a murder mystery kind of thing. But there was just something that kind of, I don't know, it just didn't pull me in as much as I wanted it to because it has all the color and all the like fun vibes, but I really, really liked Glass Onion. I thought that that was fun. It had an awesome cast as well. Both of them do. And, um, I thought it was really fun. The only thing that like kind of annoys me about these movies too is, um, the accent that Daniel Craig has. I just don't understand the Southern accent that he has. It's just, it takes me out of the movie every time. But, um, yeah, but this was another thing that me and Will watched. I think we watched it in December. And it was really fun. And I just remember it was kind of a long movie. So we were like, uh, maybe we'll just watch half of it tonight and half tomorrow because it was kind of late when we were watching it. And we were so like invested that we ended up staying up and watching the whole thing. So it definitely uh, kind of pulled us in and we really liked it a lot. So The Glass Onion, I think I gave it four stars. Yes. And then the last one that we'll be documenting today is the show Fleischman is in Trouble. And so this was kind of a heavy hitter that came out of nowhere for me. So I watched this on Hulu and it is kind of a, I guess it's just a drama, but it has a lot of really great actors in it. So it has, um, Jesse Eisenberg, right? From like the Facebook movie. And it also has, um, um, oh my goodness, I forget his name. Oh my, I'm crazy. Uh, Adam Brody. There we go. Wow, brain fart. Um, who was in the OC, of course. And then I don't actually know her name. I'm guessing it's probably on that movie poster, but she was in, I think she played like Janice in, um, Mean Girls. She was in it and then Claire Dane. So anyways, it was, it had a great cast of people who were like popular years ago and now they're like basically turning 40, close to 40 and just like their lives and where their lives have gone. And it was kind of just a drama, but during some of it, I mean, it also was kind of an emotional show for me. And I ended up giving it five stars because I just really loved it. And it was a show that throughout the season, I would kind of forget about. And then I would have like two or three episodes to watch. Um, and I just really loved it every single time. So I um, definitely wanted to document that one. 
So I just wrote Fleischman at the top instead of the full title since it was such a long title. And then I added that really big um, stamp that says, I like this a lot. And then I put straight up magic underneath it. And then I'm going to add in my uh, little stars, probably a few more stars, and then also my journaling. Oh, and I wasn't sure if I was going to add an icon just because there's already a lot of stamps on this particular spread, but there was a tissue box. So I felt like I had to put the tissue box because it, it was emotional and I was like kind of, you know, going through it, watching this thing during some parts. So I had to add that on. So then I'm going to add on my journaling and then, um, that will be the last one for this video, but we will add a couple other things here and there. But yeah, so I've asked before, but do you guys enjoy documenting like media things like this? I think it's really fun and I just love to give reviews of stuff. So I've definitely been enjoying like my reading journal and reviewing the books in there, which of course, as y'all know, I'm going to continue that for um, this year. I don't know if I'm going to start another one of these or not this year. I haven't really thought about it. So we'll just see how it goes. I might pick up pick up one and do it again, or maybe I'll try a different album size. I'm not really sure. So we'll have to see what ends up happening there. But it was really fun. This one, I think, ran, like I said, from summer of 2021, I think maybe like August of 21. And I thought it would probably go through August of 22 or so, like about a year, but actually it ended up being about a year and a half worth of things that I documented. So worked out for me. It didn't really have a, a important beginning and end or anything, just whenever I could fill it up. So here I just wanted to add something to the back. So I grabbed a couple or a few labels and then I wrote until next time just as a little ending thing to put back here. And I used the black um, Dymo label maker tape for this because that is what I used on the front to spell out media journal. So I end up just adding a few little stars here and that's just like a cute little something to add over here since I already had the pattern paper on the right side. I didn't want to add more to the left side. So that's what I came up with. Works out good enough for me. And then I'm going to give just like a quick little flip through here of the entire album. And you can see all of the different things that I've documented. But everything has been... Um, documented through video. So like I said, I'll pop the playlist down below if you do want to watch any of these other videos or um, are interested in any of the reviews or anything like that. But yeah, so this was a fun one and now it's finished. I can put it on the shelf and say that I'm done. So I love that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give me a like and please also consider subscribing and I'll talk to you next time. Bye y'all.